Now I want to discuss with you our new unit that is geometry. In fact, the king or you can say the god of geometry was the Euclid. Euclid divide the elements in the 13 chapters and these 13 chapters were studied by the coming generations where infinite knowledge was provided. So introductory geometry as and when we start we can never forget that mathematician who devoted his life for development of the geometry. So the introduction to Euclid's geometry, here Euclid was the mathematician who gave the total concept of the geometry for generations to come. The first question raised, what is the geometry? In fact, the geometry word is taken as that geo plus martin geo means study martin means geo means earth and martin means study so geometry means study of earth that is study of earth is known as geometry we call it geometry that is study of earth so euclid was the main mathematician who developed everything about the geometry. In the geometry, as and when we study about the earth, because geo plus martin, this is giving us the total language of geometry. Now the question is that what are the components to be studied in the geometry? Surface, plane, point, line, rays and angles. These are the components which will be studied at the level of class 9th. Now the question raised, we have heard about the theorems. As and when we say Pythagoras theorem, equal angle theorem and there are various theorems that median divides a triangle in two equal parts. So what is the theorem? As you know sometime few of the facts have to be accepted as the true facts. So my question is that what is the axiom? We begin with the axioms. So what are the axioms? Axioms are those facts. Axioms are the facts or you can say accepted truth. We can say accepted truth. Accepted truth is known as the axiom or we call it postulate. We call it postulate. So here we have to understand what is the meaning of axiom. As you are aware that your geometry was totally initiated by, given by mathematician Euclid. So we are going to start with the name of that mathematician introduction to Euclid's geometry. Geometry means study of earth because geo means earth and martin means study. So their combination is giving study of earth. On the earth we have to study the edges, we have to study the faces, we have to study the point, line, plane, surface and all that. But before we start it we must understand few facts of the geometry that is axiom. A fact which is true. What is the fact that if there is a plane in a line you can draw infinite lines passing through that point. So it is a fact and what more suppose a number A is greater than B and B is greater than C then we say this implies A is greater than C. So this fact we accept as a true. So that's why any fact which is accepted truth that is known as the axiom or you call it a postulate. Now we are telling you that what is the statement. A statement it is that. A statement is that whose answer is either true or false. Suppose I say that 2 
is greater than 5 you say it's false if i say 5 is greater than 3 you will say it is true so a statement is that where we get the answer in true or false now we are coming to that word which we often use that is in the geometry what is the theorem so theorem is that kind of statement which can be proved with the help of some postulates or axioms or some results proved previous to it so that's why whenever we prove some theorem then in that proof we use the postulates or you can say axioms or in proving some statement that theorem involves direct some results so in the euclid's geometry what we need to study we need to study about the point we need to study about the line we need to study about the line segment we need to study about the plane we need to study about the surface surfaces planes and what more that is edges so some sort of things at the level of class 9th will be discussed in our topic geometry and here now i will tell you few axioms and i will prove few theorems with the help of those axioms